good? Hey guys, it's Brandon Spray Northwest. I'm going to show you how to mask some garage doors right now. This is an example of already masked garage door. And we're going to be using some product called 3M Hand Masker. The six foot garage doors are seven foot typically. You can get them six foot, typically they're seven foot. And um, what we have here is a contraption that uh, goes on your masker they actually just came out with. I'm not sure what they call it, but it does go on here to hold the back end. That's one inch tape and some six foot um, 3M hand masking, pre-rolled, bent, um, plastic. So what you do is you gauge about a foot down because the paper uh, masker we're going to be using in just a minute is about a foot down. All you do is go about a foot inside and a foot down, go straight across. Can show you guys how to do this masking a door quickly because obviously the quicker you can mask the more money you're going to make right so this is getting it all up you can see how this one's a little bit further down than that one the reason is because i wanted to be able to show you a couple different things one as you can tell this is about even you can see that i've done this for a while um, i've got it down i spray this way i'm not going to be spraying up in here so i'm not too worried about this um, you can see how it's got all the edges completely gone Nothing's going to have a problem here. We're going to put a drop cloth down and we can use a shield over here guarding the concrete. When we spray, we'll just spray around and spray up and keep going. So I'm going to show you how to mask a uh, garage door within two minutes. Here we go. Take these tape, set it off to the side. With that's going to do is, as you pull the six foot down, I'm going to do it evenly. You don't want to be able to have to grab tape while you're doing all this. So there you go. Tape available. Get it down in the corner. Straight down. Tape that. Come on over here. Grab a piece of tape. Go all the way straight down. Get down in your corner. Pull it tight. <clears throat> there you go. Same piece of tape that's in the hand. Right here. Pull that over a little bit. Get a little bit longer piece of tape. You grab your corner. Pull it directly over. There you go. The plastic's going to hold that. It's going to create a box on this one. So grab this. Pull it over, grab this, pull it down, tuck it up. There's your first piece of your box. Next piece is going to be the corners, right? Go ahead and take right here, pull this tight, pull that down, wrap around. There's your corner, airtight. Come over here, put your mask here, start at the bottom, do your outer edge. Corner. Tuck it underneath. If you always have the top folding over, you're going to have a better edge. If it overextends a little bit, tuck it like this. There you go. I always just put random pieces of tape wherever you need to. More of an angle on that. Pull it tight, pull it tight, wrap around. There's your box. What you want to do is keep the wind from blowing it around. You can grab it from the middle, pull it in, grab it from the bottom, and pull it over. So you can keep your wind from blowing around. Two more places, obviously, right? One in the middle. off this side. Boom. Now, this one, we've got a little bit higher. You can see that that is how you can get it quick and easy. This one, I want to be able to show you. So if you don't feel as comfortable having it as high, one thing you can do is drop it down beneath 
the tape line. Go ahead and drop the tape line. The tape line's there, right? So what you can do is take this just under your tape line. so that it'll go down further, all the way to the bottom, if you don't feel as comfortable using it this way. So voila. And voila. Now, when you pull your plastic down, this is going to cover your complete door. I don't care that it doesn't cover my complete door on the bottom over here, but if you feel like it's a risk or a danger to you, and you might accidentally spray a garage door, definitely want to get that covered up. And the way of doing that is what I just showed you. Get your corner, and it's going to pull all the way to the ground. Obviously, the concrete's not as easy to stick to as a garage door, so when you go all the way to the ground, you're going to want to make sure you take to the garage door also in a box form, kind of like that. Should be all the way to the ground. Tape in a box form, pull it tight, and what we're going to do is come right back to the middle, ensuring that no overspray can get to the rest of the door. So that is a fully covered door. All we have to do is take the masker and paper it just like this one. Now, one more time, we're going to start at the top. starts to flap the wind too much for you. You can take a piece of paper, pull this one down, take a piece of tape, pull this one down, and stop that from being a test. Next one. when you're doing this, you're going to find that your masker is either short or you can go all the way. As you can see in this top area, really easy fix. Take this tape, put it right there, and there's your area fixed. Double it up, sitting down like that. Go ahead and grab the tape, boom. Tape. Boom. That's how to mask a garage door. It's probably northwest. Two minutes or less. <laughs> 